necessary that uh, this place be made a little bit more safe, especially given the numbers of people. If you were to go 20, you know, there's a lot of collapsing boulders along this whole escarpment, but this is a place that gets visited a lot. So here we have the rear of, and down there is where the Gosford glyphs are. And, but what we have is these stones, these big boulders are all moving and shifting including this large section, which is actually, there's two large boulders, that's where... This footage was when I visited, it was either very late November 2023 or very early December, and there we see those two stones, which we'll often refer to as the ceiling, uh, the ceiling but they were just boulders that have been pulled as a, the very unstable site was shifting, so that's what's been removed. Very unsafe, you had a lot of tourists. Actually, there's two large boulders, that's where half of the glyphs are they're moving and geologically speak, speaking moving at high speed because they're just in the last uh, few months there's been quite a bit of movement and it's very dangerous um so yeah this is now all of this has been buried over probably about two three foot in this part there used to be the tomb as they called it uh, underneath here but that was filled up even the last time I was here but now they've used this stone but where did the stone come from well that block there you can see is freshly broken formed what they called the ceiling which was just two boulders that were across and as this stone is moving forward and away it was very very unsafe so um, they've done quite a bit of work here but the glyphs as we'll see in a moment haven't been touched themselves so we have on the, that'll be the west side, which uh, despite what some, uh, these were all done later, but it was in the uh, 83, I'll have to get the check again, the Central Coast uh, Advertiser newspaper. And I found all the, the glyphs along here, most of them were here at the time. So for instance, the Anubis, which you know was fixed up later and like a lot of other ones, well, um, now this, the moss and lichen which grows here, I've been here summer, I've been here winter, and I've seen the cycles of the plant growth that grows here. It's acidification. These sharp caught, these are just not ancient. These pieces would have been eroded away by the acidification of the, you know, the lichens and the mosses that come back, you know, grow, uh, you know, between summer and winter cycles. For instance, this site here doesn't get morning sun um so again that's what as where this part does and there's a different wear pattern um on this and again just to remind you uh some people who go on ancient aliens and talk about the pleadians which is on this side in other blogs admit that this was added all later but you know for the right price people will tell you exactly what they want uh prometheus productions prometheus entertainment now again i'll check with there but this is split so this block is just moving and it's going to fall down so we see more of a glyphs again you can see how the um, moss and lichen grows and comes in patterns i should even check the moss uh, lichen growth compared to older photos because some people say well because lichen grows so slowly that this could be used to age it but if it's you know in the last five ten years if it's been significant growth well then that lichen well anyway so we've got uh this is on the western side which was all added later and uh, but these are the original ones which were photographed back in yeah 1983 a fella from the reptile park come out here and he's featured and he's got the old photos you can see how it's been touched up but uh, when we compare and i've got the older photos of this so this big stone has moved a lot and you can see it i've got the yet yeah, so this lo uh, lower quality sandstone layer underneath has just shifted feet and it's brought this down like this used to be uh down here was open more this whole thing and we're going to see this stone here from the other side is just a collapse waiting to happen anytime any all right so just pause on this photo 
screenshot for a moment and on the front side of one of the larger pieces of stone where the glyphs are contained this is a layer of softer sandstone underneath and what it looks like in uh, May 2024. Now we compare that on the left side we see this would have been 2016 or 2017 that exact same piece that was supporting the front side of this larger stone has now moved and shifted the whole side is moving and shifting if anyone says that this was geologically stable it's just not true the moment all we're going to do is have these shift a little bit so there's no support on the front half of it apart from the fact that it's budding up against this larger rock which in itself is precarious and is heading to go over all right so we come back out and we'll see it from below a little bit dangerous and slippery here okay so So that's what the what the front of that big block looks like. It's uh, this really weak sandstone with this stronger stuff on top. This you can see there's a little bit of daylight even between there, but cracks that ridge, the deeper spot in this erosion has run out. So again, this is this like mushroom top's gonna go bang. This has already come down, and when that does, well, all of this, you know, this is just so firstly the glyphs were not destroyed they're still there the actual glyphs themselves the what has been removed um I, I i would say is necessary given that it's a popular spot if it was if you go a little bit this way or a little bit the other way along this escarpment the sort of top of a ridge you'll see this type of stuff happening everywhere they don't need to break that up they don't need to put uh, signs up because well so few people go to those spots but this one is a tourist attraction well known and yeah not not destroyed uh if anything you'd say protected um uh because yeah it was just a disaster waiting to happen and so that's it the gossip glyphs are still here and yeah, not destroyed and um this place is well, yeah, it is dangerous. Uh, so is this whole escarpment, but people come here, so that's the one. Now, all right, SGD signing out from Gosford Glyphs. I'll put a video together showing the older footage just to confirm that, you know, this is not a conspiracy by the um, Zoe Hoas Mafia to keep secrets hidden. It's uh, well, a necessary choice for something that's basically a tourist attraction and gets a lot of visitors. Cheers.